Hello Cancer and welcome to Soul Sundays. Cancer, it's a quick three card spread, one for your mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Cancer. Please tell me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for their week ahead. Now please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul for their week starting Sunday, the 1st of December. All right, my crabbies, what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, I think last week my reading for you at the full moon was all about finding harmony, balance, peace, something along those lines, if I remember correctly. I'll check my notes. Um, but I wanted to talk to you briefly about what's happening in the skies, as I always do. Massive, massive energy this week. We have Venus in the sign of Capricorn. We also have Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn. Um, what does that mean? Well, Jupiter is just only the biggest planet for us in our solar system. One card, please. Uh, it is also the planet of good luck, fortune, expansion, abundance. Um, it's been in its home sign of Sagittarius for the past 12 months, and it shifts into Capricorn on the 2nd of December, so on the Monday after I'm filming this for you. What's important to note about that is it's going to have an effect on uh, what we've been doing for the past 12 months, right? So... If you've been working on um, really um, putting plans into motion and making some changes in your life so that you can um, herald in a new energy for 2020 and working legitimately hard, right? Not doing anything sneaky or dodgy, then you'll reap the rewards of this change. Jupiter moving into Capricorn is um, two health messages. It's all about, um, <laughs> so funny, the two cards that you've got. Um, but Jupiter moving into Capricorn is all about um, um, actually putting plans into motion, okay? We've had the last 12 months about um, dreaming big, opening our hearts, opening our minds, thinking about what our ideal life looks like, and now it's time to actually put those plans into motion, okay? To act on those ideas, those dreaming ideas. Um, you could find for some of you that it is a year, depending on where you have Capricorn in your chart, where financial matters actually get to a head and you could see money coming in. And with Venus and Capricorn at the same time, Venus rules both love, beauty, health and wealth, then you could be seeing a turning point for you this week. But in terms of um, Jupiter being... Uh, in, in Capricorn, it's all going to be a big year about helping us achieve things and preparing us to achieve great things in the years to come. I think that is your card. Your cards are taking a very long time to come out today. Um, so I feel like energy is a little bit stagnant. I just want to check if another one flipped. I don't normally like to do more than two on these readings. I like to keep them pretty uh, fluid, but um, you've got two on health. So I'm just wanting to know if I'm meant to have a second. Please show me. No. Okay, cool. All right, so lastly, I just want to finish off with Jupiter mentioning that if your birthday, if you're, hopefully I don't have anyone who's 12 this watching this channel because it's not for kids, but if your birthday is the 24th, if your birthday is the 36th um, in 2020, if you turn 48, if you turn 60, 72, multiples of 12, right, 84, then this could very well be a year for you for your Jupiter return, which is massive, right? We hear a lot about Saturn return, but Jupiter return often goes unlooked. It's a year of very good luck and fortune. For those that don't know, I am a Capricorn, so this um, Capricorn sun. So this energy affects me tremendously. I also have a birthday in January the, on the 11th, right? Obviously being Capricorn, uh, master number, but it's also my Jupiter return. So it's massive in terms of what I'm going to bring forward for you, for you, for this channel um, and some other bits and pieces that I've been working on behind the scenes. Okay, but let's tie this back into what it means for you, Cancer, for this week. What's going on with your health? Straight up, you've got four cards for me that speak about issues around health. Um, I just want to show you as I see them before I get into all the other messages. I do have the card of needing rest and detoxification, okay? This can sometimes come up the four of swords when someone's had surgery or needing to have surgery, right? It's got the four of angels in this deck, but angels are swords. So coming with detoxification, for those that have just come out of surgery that are sitting at home, and I know there's a few of you, and it's, it doesn't seem like it's major, it seems like it's minor, but it's still knocked you around a bit. I really want you to be trying to cleanse your body, okay? Remember to be taking prebiotics, probiotics, all the good stuff for your gut, making sure that you keep that clean because you need to be cleansing your system. Antibiotics and the things that we need after we have surgery are important, but it's just as important to replace those in our um, tummy. 
for those that haven't gone through surgery, you've drawn the card of rest, okay? Last week was all about a message of finding your balance, okay? Coming to a position of um, being happy and, and finding that equilibrium. Um, the card of this week is asking you just to take a chill pill, right? Now, I know that's easy for me to say, we're at the first of bloody December, it's coming into the crazy period of time, but you don't have to say yes to everything. One of the beautiful attributes of your sign is that you are so giving and loving, particularly when it comes to family and friends, but sometimes you just need to say no, okay? Um, and it's a hard lesson for you to learn because you feel like you're letting people down. But uh, one of the things that I talk about in my personal readings that I do in coaching that I do for others is think of it as not letting down that person, but letting down yourself. By saying yes, when you don't want to do something, you're actually not honoring you. So you go along, you don't have a good time and your body doesn't get the rest that it needs. Okay. Two cards for you this week in terms of your body. And I want to focus on those a fair bit. You've drawn detoxification with change physicians. For some of you, I feel like you could have been taking uh, depression for mental health and anxiety as well. I'm getting that quite clearly because they're putting a big focus on my, um, my uh, third eye chakra and also my crown. I feel like if you've been taking any kind of um, medication for those things, never any judgment here, you guys know that. I just want you to maybe go get a second opinion, okay? Ask someone if you're feeling that you have a few side effects, maybe you're withdrawing more than you normally would. Um, if you do suffer from depression and anxiety, watch some of my Empress Love videos. Um, I've been through that myself. I know what it feels like. I can feel the energy of this card, okay? I can feel it deep within my tummy. Um, I like to refer to it as when I just want to be rolled up like a little sushi and put on the couch in my doona. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to talk to anyone. Um, it's important for you to detox. Now, detox, we often hear that word and we think about, as I've mentioned it to you so far, about looking at what we're consuming and that's where you should start, right? Healthy in, healthy out kind of concept. You know, what we feed our bodies, our minds will reap rewards from. So if your diet's not so great, definitely look at that. But I wanna go a little bit deeper with this. This card also represents a detoxification of, of everything that comes close to you, okay? I want you to sit down and really think about the harmful substances that are around you in terms of the beauty products that you use, okay? Do you use too much? Do you dye your hair too much? For the blokes out there, are you using a shaving cream that irritates your face, but you keep using it because it's cheap? You know, throw that shit out. I want you to go a little bit more natural, okay? Detox your clothes. You know, for some of the girls that are going to the gym and they're wearing all this lycra, but they're getting rashes on their legs and arms because it's not allowing your skin to breathe, I want you to wear more breathable cottons. Really just think about what you can do within your space with what you touch that you can detox, you know? Clean, clean your... Your, your linen, um, even if it's cold, you know, do the washing, wash your sheets. Just think about what you can do to make your space a little bit more cleaner for you, okay? And for those that have just had surgery and you're coming out and you're recovering, I want you to change your physicians, get a second opinion, go see someone else about your healing and you will be guided, okay? Ask for that message. Your spiritual message this week is that of context. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, she's got a dragonfly at her throat, which speaks a lot about communication or lack of being able to communicate clearly. But I think the missing point here, Cancer, is that you're probably not ready to communicate how you're feeling. Um, sometimes we need to take a step back so we can see things for the holistic picture of what's going on, right? To see the true meaning. Um, and the, the message of this card, I'm going to read it to you. It says, interpreting one piece of the puzzle in isolation leads to error. Avoid reading too much into something. Taking in the fuller picture will take time and effort, but it will bring the perspective required. A flyaway comment or a side means nothing on its own. An overreaction or misunderstanding causes unnecessary fireworks. Truer meaning comes with broader context. So it's exactly what I was saying to you before. And allow yourself to step back so that you can see the picture clearly, okay? Whatever's going on for some of you, if this week is not about a physical ailment, maybe it's just that you're just freaking exhausted about the Thanksgiving holiday that you just had or the weekend or having people over. Take some time out for you, okay? If you have had an argument with someone, detoxify your space. Cleanse your energy of that person, sage your space, do something else so you can give yourself a bit of breathing room, okay? And try not to actually jump to accusations yet. Wait till you can see the bigger picture, which I don't think will be until next week. All right, my loves, a lot there, a bit longer than normal, but I wanted to get that info in about Jupiter. Um, I wish you much love and light. It's going to be a great week. Please take some time out for yourself. Just rest, chill out, have a Netflix day. 
Um, for those of you that are interested in personal readings, I am available again. The details are down below in the description box. I'm also starting to do the yearly 2020 readings for personal reads. I've done a couple of them for my regular clients already. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want to get a forecast for the year ahead, that'll be below. Um, if not, I will do them free for the channel. They'll come up soon. Finally, I just wanted to say one last thing. Have a fantastic week. Don't let anyone get you down. You're running your own race. Allow yourself to have a bit of space and time out. And I think you'll feel better than ever within a week's time. All right, my loves, I wish you much love and light. I'll be back with you next Sunday. Take care.